use mesh analysis to find the loop currents in the circuit. So we need to find out I1, I2, and I3. This one, this one, and that one here. And I think I will also need to add additional label here. So for the battery here, the positive polarity is the one that is the long one here. So this one is plus and this one is minus. And let's do that to all the battery. So this one is plus and this one is minus. This one is plus, this one is minus, and this one is plus, and this one is minus. Because that will be very important during the KVL or the Kirchhoff current law. Okay, now let's do KVL at I1 because we need to do mass analysis. Mass is basically just loops. So we need to do the Kirchhoff voltage law. So I will have KVL at loop I1. So what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Good. And that is why we label this battery here because here I1 is flowing through this battery and it is starting from this positive polarity. So I will have our sign will be positive. So I have plus three. And then let's move on to this 9 ohm resistor. So I will have plus 9. And we are working on I1. So I1 always came first. So I'll have I1 here. But then here I3 moving to the opposite direction. I1 is flowing to the left. And then I3 is flowing to the right. So I'll have minus I3. Good. And then let's move on to this 3 ohm resistor. So I will have plus 3. And then again, we are working on I1, so I1 came first. But here I2 is the one that is flowing to the opposite direction, right? I1 to the left, I2 to the right. So I'll have minus I2. Good. And one more component here. I will have this 4 ohm resistor. So I will have plus 4. And the only current that pass through it is I1. Good. All of that will equal to zero. Okay, plus three. So it is in the beginning. I don't need to write the plus like this. Okay, now what can we do from here? I1, I think we can add them up. Nine plus three plus four. So I will have 12 plus four. That will be 16 I1, right? 16 I1. And then I2 only comes from here. So I'll have minus three I2. Good. And then I also have minus 9i3. Good. And we can move this 3 to the right hand side. So we will have this will equal to minus 3. Okay. Let's have this as equation number 1. Okay. Now let's move on to i2 here. Again, we can do KVL, but this time at loop i2. KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And here the loop is entering from negative terminal. That's why it's very important to label the battery. So I will have negative here and the value is 10. So I'll have minus 10. And then let's move on to that 3 ohm resistor. Okay. Now we are working on I2. So I2 came first. And then here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. I2 goes to the right, I1 to the left, right? So I will have minus I1. Good. And now we enter this battery here from the positive terminal. So I2 entering from the positive terminal, right? So we will have plus sign. So we have plus and the voltage is 9. And the last component is this one, which is 2 ohm. And the only current that pass through it is I2. All of that will equal to 0. Good. Now, I1 only comes from here. So I will have minus 3 I1. Okay. And then 3 plus 2, that will be 5 I2. Good. And then minus 10 plus 9, that will be minus 1, 
but we can move that to the right hand side so i will get this as one right and i think nothing that we can do from here let's save this as equation number two good now let's do another kvl but this time at loop i3 the last loop here kvl at loop i3 kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero okay here let's start with this 14 volt battery and the loop is entering from the negative terminal so i will have minus 14 and then one more battery here the loop entering from the negative terminal so i will have minus 9 volt here so i have minus 9 and then let's move on to the resistor we have 9 ohm so i'll have plus 9 and here we are working on i3 so i3 came first so i have i3 and here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i1 good and then we have 1 ohm here so i will have plus 1 multiplied by the only current that passed through it which is i3 good all of that will equal to zero okay minus 14 minus 9 that will be 23 and let's move that to the right hand side right so i have minus 23 on the right hand side but on the left hand side i will have minus 9 i1 okay and then we will have 0 i2 right but then for i3 i will have 9 plus 1 so i will have 10 i3 and this is equation number 3 so now we have three equation with three variables right 1 2 and 3 and we can solve this by using calculator so that is the last step that is for mass analysis so i have solve one two and three okay let's prepare our calculator let's set this up here as equation solver which is number five and then three variables is number two and all that we need to do is to plug in all the coefficients so i will have 16 here and then minus three for i2 and then minus nine for i3 and that will equal to minus 3. Good. Then we will have minus 3 for I1. However, we have to be very careful because we don't have I3 here. So I will have 5 I2. Okay. But then for I3, we have it as 0. And on the result side, I will have 1. Okay. And then for this, I will have minus 9 for I1 and then 0 for i2 and then 10 for i3 and that will equal to 23 okay so i will have the x value which is the value for i1 and that is a very nice number here which is 3 and the unit here is in ampere and then what is i2 i2 here is the y value so i will have 2 ampere here and then we also have i3 here that will be the z value which is 5 ampere and i think that is all for this problem thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye